What's going on? Welcome everyone to the final chapter, chapter 4 of my G4 rant. In this chapter I'm going to be talking about my final thoughts of this whole situation of G4 right now. So, here we go. Now, whenever I think about the old G4 and Tech TV and ZD TV, a, a wave of nostalgia enters my mind. and. I know it's weird to have these nostalgic feelings about something that was around so recently as what, five, five years ago, right? Anyway, that's how it gets with a situation like this. Um, when it's when G4 and Tech TV slash ZD TV started out, they were very good concepts. I mean, they were these. Uh, techno technology oriented shows that are showed sporadically around different channels around but there's never a single network a single entire television channel solely dedicated to technology and video games so yeah that, I thought that was cool and it attracted a possibly small yet dedicated very dedicated fan base now I do want to say that about G4 and Tech TV's fan base. They're, they may have been small fan bases, but they're fan bases that would stick with you. Unless you did something drastically stupid, unfortunately, which did happen. Um, thanks to Anime Unleashed being shown on the cartoon. Um, thanks to Anime Unleashed being shown on uh, Tech TV, Cartoon Network was no longer the only major television channel to show anime shows. Um, also, Anime Unleashed showed animes that possibly may not have worked with the mainstream, uh, such as Serial Experiments Lane. I watched a few episodes of that on Anime Unleashed, and I find that series to be very bizarre and mindfuck in a way. Um, yeah, G4 had an excellent review show in Judgment Day. Now, I know I've praised Judgment Day a lot in this rant, but I just had to say this once more. Um, I had to say that uh, Judgment Day was possibly the best show to ever appear on a G4 and tech, uh, G4 Tech TV, for that matter, because, like I said, the reviewers were completely honest. They were not biased. They disagreed with each other at times. It was very realistic. Unlike their precious X-Play, uh, which usually I sometimes, sometimes agree with X-Play and think they do a good review every now and then. Every now and then. But now, but usually they uh, don't very do very good job. Especially with a Resident Evil 5 review. They just had to bring up racism in it, didn't they? Ah, oh, jeez. Another thing I have to mention concerning exploit. I think Adam Sussler, in my opinion, is one of the best video game reporters slash personalities out there. However, he's stuck in this show here doing crappy reviews, which I'm not even sure he has full control over. But anyway, I, I could care less about Morgan Webb. But anyway. Yeah, and Adam Sussler, I think, needs to get away from G4 so he could further his career, so to say. And I, but I doubt that'll happen. <sighs> All right, so I did find a, a I did find an appeal in Starcade, the old '80s video game game show, <laughs> if you could call it that. Um, yeah, I just had that nostalgic feel, and I believe that show served as a major uh, uh, inspiration for Nick Arcade on Nickelodeon. And I also really liked how the final grand prize during each e for each episode was an arcade machine you can take home with you of your very own. Um, however, yeah, like all good things, old classic G4 and Tech TV had to come to an end. Why? So it could become more mainstream, get more viewers, and thus more money. Now, 
there's one person to blame for all this, and I already mentioned him, Neil Tiles. He changed the channel to shit and raped all our hopes and dreams of us wanting a TV, a TV channel dedicated solely to video games and technology, but no. He had to turn G4 to a spy TV clone to become a male-oriented network with all these shows everywhere that <laughs> Cops, Ninja Warrior, Lost, Heroes, uh, all these movies that have nothing to do with technology. Um, yeah, I don't know. Attack of the show turned to crap. Um, however, G4 did sort of listen to our, I guess, complaints because last summer they had a block of programming on the early on, in the morning from 9 to 11 called a G4 V1. Now during this block they would show old uh, G4 shows such as Blister, uh, Portal, old episode of Judgment Day which I made sure to catch. Um, G4TV.com, although you can no longer interact with it. I believe they showed old episodes of Cheat. And they would show those shows during the first hour. During the second hour, they would show old episodes of X-Play, which I don't understand. I mean, X-Play, um, for, you forget right now that X-Play is a bad show. Uh, X-Play was not a G4 original show to begin with. It was a tech TV show. So, I don't know what they were thinking of that. <sighs> but anyway, yeah, it's not... G4 Rewind's not on anymore. <laughs> Sadly. It was on early anyway, so it sucked. And I did hear that shows like, I guess, Cinematech and like shows like that are on the show on G4's website. Why couldn't they show those on the network? I mean, instead of showing so many episodes of Cops back to back, show uh, show episodes of Cinematech. Make new episodes of that, at least. That has something to do with video games. Or at least show old episodes of uh, G4 programming. Or hell, make new episodes of Blister or G4TV.com or something like that. However I, however I kind of have the feeling that if they do, that they'll be they'll suck compared to the original show. I don't know what to think about that. Um, sadly, G4 Rewind will most likely be the last glimpse of old G4 programming we'll get on G4, the TV channel. I mean, yeah, it, it's saddening. I mean, Neil Tiles is prick. He, he's single-handedly to blame for turning G4 into a Spike TV clone, and I want to mention, G4 has gone the way of MTV right now. The same way that MTV used to show music videos and music video and, mu and music oriented programming, they now show this reality show bullshit that has nothing to do with music or their original intent. But when they do show music videos, it's on and early in the morning, like 3 in the morning. So you either have to stay up really late or get up really early to catch those. And when they do show music videos, it's this R&B slash rap bullshit. Anyway, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say about this whole situation. Uh, it felt so good to get that out, so... Yeah, this pretty much does it for my G4 rant, so if you're still watching, thank you very much. And till next time, this is Mr. Mir. Keep on hanging in there, everyone. Your favorite video game of all time? Bushido Blade. Bushing! And you got a favorite video game character of all time? Super Metroid, man. When she dies, you can see her butt naked. <laughs> Want to win a date with Laura Swisher from Unscrewed? Oh, yeah. Make a two-minute video and show us why you're the one for her. And you could win a date with Laura Swisher. <laughs> for details, go to techtv.com slash unscrewed. And watch Unscrewed weeknights at 1130 on Tech TV.